if you haven't started Last of Us, just watch the first three episodes. That's all I'll say. That's the only episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just tell them to watch the whole thing. Watch everything. If you haven't seen it, watch that's the entire thing so far. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. In order. Just watch the three episodes. All in one night. Um, great show. This third episode, and I'm gonna do this thing, which is gonna kind of ruin the experience for people who haven't seen it just yet. Uh, not only where I spoil it, but I like set an expectation really high, so I apologize. But <laughs> I think it was one of the best single episodes of television in history. You said that in the text, and I was ready to be let down, but it was actually fucking beautiful, like beautiful. It was. Yeah, from the text, Last of Us episode was one of the greatest episodes of television I've ever seen in my life. In my life, I mean, it was fucking. And the thing is, I thought it was about to be some woke bullshit. Right, because the episode surrounds this character, these characters, Bill and Frank. Bill is like a, uh, what are they called? What's that? <laughs> I call him a bottom. Yeah, I think bottom. technically a bottom. <laughs> I think Bill's the top. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? yeah. Did you see the episode? Did yeah. you see the episode? Okay, so it's like Frank is the one that comes over. He's a little bit more classically gay, if you will. Oh, okay. You know? But, but who knows? You never know how he gets down. He was like, yo, go go take a shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you tell him what to do. But uh, but but basically, what happens is um, he's a he called himself a sort of dooms he's like a doomsday prepper. Doomsday prepper is the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. like one of the cool things about the show is that it doesn't just focus on like here are these guys trying to get away from zombies. It's like what happens to the world. That's the most interesting thing to me about like post apocalyptic shit. I'm like I want to know what human beings really care about. And also, like, what we do when there's no rules. What rules do we recreate? What lives do we live? And, like, it follows this couple. They weren't initially a couple. But um, this dude who was a doomsday prepper. So, like, what happens to the preppers when there's apocalypse? And the dude prepped. And he wasn't going to leave his uh, home. and wasn't going to go to a quarantine he, like, zone. He, hid out when they tried to take everybody to the quarantine zone. He had a bunker full of fucking guns. And they go through a cool, cool scene where he, like, comes up, sees the town is empty, goes and fucking steals, like, a generator from the power and plant. And then the music changes, and he's, like, having a time of his life. He's going to Home Depot, getting all the shit that yeah. he needs to do. He's turning the gas back on. Like, it's, like, what the prepper would do. Finally, it's his time. That's what preppers think they would do. They bro. would think they would. Most yeah, preppers, exactly. right? Like, they have all this fucking mashed potatoes that are powdered, and they yeah. go to, like, get sent to a camp <laughs> immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, all those people, fucking. I got a bunch of guns sitting in their basement. They're like, see, see? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not crazy, yeah, honey. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. So like, uh, and then basically he creates this kind of like, you know, fortress in his town and whatever. This guy comes and uh, you, th the guy ends up seeing that the prepper is actually gay. He doesn't come across gay as, uh, at all. He's the yeah. Parks and Rec guy. Yeah. Ron Swanson or whatever like that. Yeah. Is the that his name? The prepper's gay. Yeah. That's very funny. And, and like, <laughs> it's a lot of bearded kissing Do and shit. Do you prefer beard or no beard? I love love. <laughs> you talked to your publicist before this? <laughs> anyway, love, you love love. If they, anyone yeah, asks. Yeah. Anyway, no one wants to see that gay shit. Look. <laughs> and, but, and I thought it was going to be that. I thought they were like shoehorning this, this like progressive story into this HBO show. And I'm like, okay, there were some execs at HBO. And they're like, oh, we need to make Diversify, sure it's more diverse, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then it ends up becoming like the coolest love story that I've ever seen it was on TV. Beautiful. And it was just like, it was like, how do these people survive? How do they thrive together? And then, then things happen in the episode that, like, you don't even consider. It's like when the dude gets, I guess, what the version of MS is. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's going to happen. And there's no medicine. And there's nobody that you're going to go to. Like, yeah. you're just stuck in that world. You better hope you got a fucking wheelchair. Yeah. You know? And, like, it was just this beautiful moment. And then uh, the ending the ending of, of their relationship was awesome. Yeah. And uh, But the coolest part was the note that he leaves to Joel. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got to take a break for a second because you got 24 hours. Time is ticking. You have 24 hours to go to gamersubs.gg and get the best fucking powdered energy drink in the flagrant universe for free. They're giving out free samples for 20 fucking four hours. You need to go do that right now. Yes, it's the best. It's the keto-friendly, zero sugar, organic caffeine, no fillers, six of the body's most crucial vitamins and minerals, the electrolytes, but who cares? You don't care about that. You want to stay up. You want to stay focused. You want to stay locked in, and Gamer Subs has got your back. And you know what else? They got it for free. Flagrant. Make sure you use that promo code flagrant at gamersubs.gg. Oh, you live international. Oh, they're going to kill you with the shipping. International shipping is free, too. You got no excuses. You're welcome. You got no excuses, you're welcome. Go now. 24 hours. It's actually less than that. From the beginning of this ad, it's even less. Time is ticking. But you know where you're gonna make it up? 
You staying all night blasting through video games, whatever the fuck you need to do with that game or subs, go get it right now. Promo code flagrant. Let's get back to the show. And he leaves this note to Joel because he knows Joel's going to eventually find him. And he's basically like, I didn't even like you, you know, but I, like I respected you and I know that you ended up finding this. And, uh, you know, like I, when the world burned and everybody died, I was happy because mm -hmm. I hated the world. Mm -hmm. And then I found Frank. Yeah. And he gave me purpose. And my purpose was pr to protect him. He says that to him before he died, before they, you know, however, yeah. he says, you were my purpose. Yeah. And that, I was like, fuck, dude, that's beautiful. And it, but he goes, my purpose was to protect, was protect him. And he goes, and he's like, and that's what guys like me and you, I gotta, I gotta fucking get it right. Because the line was fantastic. So I want to make sure I get it exactly. So smart at HBO. They checked the gay box. And, and they got, got that shit out of here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, bro. That's, yeah, yeah. Cool. that's crazy. That's yeah. the, bro, is that the new black people? Is that the new black people? The first one to die in the oh, movie? Yeah. Oh, and I was yeah. hoping that, yeah. I was hoping the guy would live because he could be fucking useful to help them on their like yeah. mission. Well that's yeah. kind of what happens he was I supposed think, to. in the in the video game. Yeah. They do it like that. But uh You should be grateful, dude. You guys are gonna make it to the end of movies now. I mean, they gotta put us in the this one first. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, if you make it. <laughs> yeah. If you make it. Well, they good. kinda did, and she died actually very first. So Okay, so the stereotype still holds. It. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as there's order in the universe. As long as y'all are dying first in the movies, so everything's about. They made this show about the black girl for 20 minutes and yes. then killed her. Oh, Ain't that fuck. fucking crazy? Yeah, yeah. Damn yeah. it, dude. <laughs> fuck. So here's a quote. It goes, um, there was one person worth saving, and that's what I did. I saved him and protected him. He goes, that's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do, and God help the motherfuckers that get in our way. Mm. And it was like. Is that when you started crying? Bro, hell yeah. I watched that. I rewatched that shit seven times. Seven? I loved that fucking. I just love that idea. Like, that's great. I love it. I was like, yeah, that's what you tell people before they storm the beaches of, of Normandy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like, anything. Or yes. the capital, yeah. yeah. Before storming. <laughs> yeah, before storming. Before there's a storming you happening. Can't be stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it was just, oh, it was such a great episode. And to go from being annoyed that. I thought that they were trying to like project this like a uh, goofy, you know, progressive agenda. Goofy or not, an agenda. I don't want to project it on me. I don't yeah. want you to force your agenda on me, whatever it is. I literally have a text that I was sending to uh, uh, some buddies. And the first thing is like, why am I watching, you know, Ron Swanson get his colon blasted <laughs> exactly. on by this George, HBO by show? By Jordan Peterson? I almost <laughs> texted you, why am I watching? <laughs> he broke like Jordan Peterson. And then the next thing, it was like, wait a minute, this is kind of cool. And the next one is just like, now I'm crying at this shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I, it just, I just melted on it. I almost texted you, why am I watching Brokeback Apocalypse? <laughs> doing this. Yeah. But I gave it a chance and it ended up being fucking But that is beautiful. what you should do with gay stories, right? Like, it's not about them being gay. It's yes. about yeah. it's about their relationship and what that means for the world and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, that's, that's how you make it relatable. That's how you normalize right. it. it was like it's you not an agenda. They go through the yeah. same things that you would go through and how you would feel if somebody was, you know, gonna die. Like, what would you want to do if that purpose, the purpose for you being alive is now gonna go away? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna die, essentially, too. Mm. And, uh, yeah, it was fucking amazing, man. They killed that shit. Yeah, really I, I, Yeah. I, I don't know. I was told this, that you have to watch the first three episodes by somebody who was, like, you know, represents some guys that are on it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, just get through the first three and then you'll see what this show can be. And the cool thing about it is Joel's character now begins, essentially. Yes. Mm. So as one character ends, his begins. Like, your job is to protect that girl. Right. That's what you do. You're a protector, motherfucker. Mm. That's why you have this skill set. You did that shit with that girl, Tess. You did it with your daughter. It's like, that is why you're alive. Mm. And now he gets to live again. Yeah, and now you know his purpose, and then everything else he does through the rest of the series, you're like, oh, they don't know why he's doing that, but we all know why he's doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fire. And I'm back in. Well, I wasn't out, but I'm back in more because they deviated from the, game. the video game. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, now I don't know everything that's gonna happen now. Exactly, because we don't know what other times they're gonna deviate. No surprise, uh, uh, interesting. So. Yeah. And I like the fact that they're going like back and forth in time because I want to know what, how people react in the first few years of this shit. Yeah. Like how yeah, you ended up building up a quarantine zone. What were the difficulties of building yeah. up the quarantine? Who decides who's in control? This clip has been brought to you by our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash flagrant. Join the asshole army right now.